Welcome. In this video, we are going to use the Guru platform to lay out our OER textbook. And in this case, we're going to make it a mathematics textbook. First of all, make sure that you're, you have an account and that you are logged in. Uh, look for your username in the top right hand corner and click on there so that you can see the various existing courses, collections and assessments that you might already have. However, we're creating something from scratch. So look out for the add button, the green add button on the right hand side. And if you open the little drop down menu, you can see uh, it gives you some options about what is it you want to create. We're going to create a course and this is going to be the container for our textbook. So uh, in this case, I'm going to call mine an OER mathematics uh, textbook. And uh, in my case, it fits more or less into the high school uh, area. So we go uh, K-12 and then we can say add. Now we're in the edit course screen. And uh, sure enough, there's the information that you have already loaded. If you want, you can add in a description or an, uh, an audience. But the first option is to create um, additional units. So the way Guru is organized is they have a course and then they have units is the subcategory. So we're going to add one. And in this case, um, each of the chapters of my textbook or units as they're called in Guru, uh, will be a topic within mathematics. So my first one is called computation. Uh, and then I can save that. And if I want, I can now do all the chapter headings. So I'm going to add another unit. And then this one I'm going to call number theory. And we can go on until we have the chapter structure. My next one would be con consumer arithmetic uh, and so on. If we want though we can go into the chapters and then start adding in the next category. You can see here they've called them lessons. So we have a course, a unit and then a lesson. In my case I'm going to make uh, lesson one uh, the objective number one. So I can even write in here specific objective one for computation and obviously then the next one would be specific objective two uh, and so on so i can save these and continue to create that structure right we're now going to dig a little bit deeper We've created the structure, we've got courses, units and lessons, but now we need to put the containers which will hold the OER uh, inside each of the lessons. So here's unit three, consumer arithmetic. We're looking at lesson one, which will be specific objective. And now we can say we want to add. And it says, what do you want to add? Do you want it something that already exists from your collections or from your assignment data bank, or are you going to create something new? So I'm going to create a new collection. Uh, we have to give it a name, but I want it to be differentiated from the category structure. So I'm just going to give it a code. In this case, it's SO1. I'm going to add it. And now I can choose um, what we are going to put in here. First of all, I can give it a little thumbnail. There we go. Um, I navigated into my own file structure and found the graphic. Um, if you want to uh, change them, you can. There's the little update uh, thumbnail button at the bottom there. Um, now you'll see this next thing it wants to know is what are the learning objectives? And this is very important for our textbook because we're structuring everything according to the specific objective. So what are they? Here's where we would state them. So I'm going to go and have a look at the curriculum. And here I am. I'm looking at computation. So let's scroll to consumer arithmetic. Here we go. And you can see there that there, those are the general objectives. So um, I need to look further till I find the specific objectives. 
here they are and specific objective number one is to calculate discount sales tax profit or loss so i'm just going to take a copy of that and then i'm going back to the the guru i'll click inside learning objectives and i'll paste it in i'll just give it a little edit and uh, then it asks what is the subject and framework um, for international people um, other than the us we can ignore this because it attempts to force us to choose a framework which means absolutely nothing to us so we can ignore that and uh, uh, then make sure that we save what we have done when we scroll back now to have a look at our course we can see that um, under consumer arithmetic when we scroll in we can now see lesson one specific objective one and there's the little container or the collection into which we're going to put our s our oers